Hey guys, welcome to a new Create This Journal episode. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I made that page, this page, these two pages, and these two pages. And if you want to watch earlier episodes of Create This Journal, I will link them up above. So let's get into the video. So the first page was draw fruit on this page. So that's what I did. I used an apple as a reference, but I ended up drawing an entirely different apple. But I really liked this page. I just used simple colored pencils, nothing special about it. I decided to go with some of the basic fruits, just an apple, kiwi, watermelon and a banana in the back to make a kind of scenery idea. I kind of like this page, I like how it turned out, especially the apple I think turned out pretty good. So for the second page, the prompt was to recreate a famous artwork, but because the page got all dirty from the pencil from the other page, I cut out a different piece of paper to draw it on. I decided to recreate the famous artwork, Girl with a Pearl Earring because I really like it. I tried to kind of recreate it but with crayon and give it my own touch because I'm not good enough to really recreate it. Um, it went a bit wrong with the shadows and then also with her mouth because I, her mouth turned out all red so at the last moment I decided to turn her into a vampire so the red could be like blood so it's a bit of a scary recreation. Okay. Uh, this one was really fun. Draw a famous logo on this page. I decided to go with the Starbucks logo because it's a really cool logo and I've got a lot of good memories of Starbucks. So yeah, but it seems like a pretty simple logo but once you try to draw it I discovered it's harder than it looks because the white and the black they make up the picture but you have to be really careful with what you turn white and black. But I managed. And I just used regular markers for this, just a regular black and a green marker that I'm going to use later. And it went really well until this step. I went, was way too fast with trying to erase it and I smudged the face and it's really a pity because <laughs> I told it looked quite cool but now it, it was a little bit ruined but I decided to just finish it anyways with just writing the letters and fitting um, everything around it in with green. Oh and I'm sorry you can see my hair in the corner, that's a little irritating. <laughs> So yeah, I kind of like how this turned out, except maybe for the face, but well, I'll have to live with that. So for the next page, I started by sketching. I actually used another YouTuber's video idea for this, so I'll link that down below because I don't want to copyright, but I just uh, copied the image of the girl and the background I just drew some simple mountains and then I used alcohol markers to fill it in I really like these markers because it makes you able to color in the shapes really really smooth and you can really see the difference with the normal markers because in the normal markers you will always see some stripiness but the alcohol in the alcohol markers uh, makes it makes you able to just fill it all in with the same color so yeah for the background i just added some red tones and i this and for the sky i am using my alcohol markers but I really like how this page turned out and yeah, I'm really happy with it. So for the last page, I started with a quick sketch of a parrot and for this I used watercolor pencils. I actually hadn't ever used these before. 
I we just had them at home but I had never used them so I started by just quickly coloring in the picture not using too much details but just using some different colors in each feather So yeah, this is what it looked like after only the pencils. But now the magic is going to happen because I'm going to add some water just with a normal brush. And by adding that, you see that the colors become a lot more vibrant and you are able to blend them. So yeah. That's what I did to each separate feather and every time I wash my brush to keep it clean. And I think it's so satisfying to watch the colors melt together and become so pretty. But I actually found out I really enjoy working with these pencils. So I think I'm going to use them a lot more in the future. So you'll probably see that in another video. I didn't even know we had these at home and they turn out to be really fun to work with and so satisfying to watch. So yeah, here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the before and after. I really like it. Oh, wait, this is the last page, because I also did this kind of rooster embroidery thing. I started with a quick sketch with dots of which color I wanted to make each part, and then I just used some wool and a simple needle, and I started stitching. Now you should know that I really have no experience with embroidery. I've maybe done it once before, but I honestly had no idea what I was doing. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. So yeah, I'm just stitching the red feathers on top of the rooster's head. And I think the, thick, the thickness of the wool has a really cool effect. It makes this really nice and colorful and a bit like childish as if it could go in like a children's book. And I really like that effect. So yeah, here's the time lapse of me doing the rest of the rooster. It goes really fast, so it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing, but I'm just stitching everything up. This took quite a lot of time, I think. I spent more than an hour on this little rooster, but it was a lot of fun to do. I tried to like alternate a bit between the long stitches in the yellow and the smaller stitches in like the turquoise and the red. And then I added some black to the tail. I made a knot for the eye, some orange for the feet and face, and then it was done. So yeah, I really liked how this turned out. I think it's really cute. The back is a bit messy, but the front isn't, and I just stuck that in my journal. So yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, especially if you watched all the way to the end. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe and see you next video. Bye!